I have never made any money from YouTube. I have just under 4,000 subscribers. It's taken me years to get to this point. So on the surface, I've not been very successful. But in this video, I wanna tell you how YouTube has changed my life in a really good way. And the first way in which YouTube has changed my life is by teaching me about the importance of slow growth. There are no shortcuts with YouTube. You get out what you put in. Building a YouTube channel is the opposite of instant gratification, which is ironic because that's what the platform provides. But less than 9% of all channels will ever get to 1,000 subscribers, and less than 2% will ever get to more than 10,000 subscribers. YouTube is hard work, and while the results can seem tantalizing, it takes dedication, perseverance, and consistency. And these are really important, valuable life lessons. Promoting myself. I'm a filmmaker by trade. I've been doing this for about 23 years now. And the very best way for me to showcase what I'm interested in, what I can do, what I'm about, is by making YouTube videos. And off the back of some of these videos that I've made, I've received multiple inquiries and landed major new clients. And because my channel is all about the things I'm most interested in, any new clients that do come about off the back of it tend to be of high interest to me. Dream clients, I guess you could say. Purpose. In the videos that I make on YouTube, I talk about the things which I do which makes my life easier or which makes me happier. And I share this information with you, the viewer, in the hope that you find it useful and that you might, should you wish, want to implement it into your own life. Naturally, the videos that I make aren't for everybody and I have a very small audience, but occasionally I receive comments from people who tell me that the videos I've made have really resonated with them. And that to me is what it's all about feeling like I have a purpose, and that's why YouTube is so worthwhile. Legacy. This is the big one and is my main motivation for making videos on YouTube. I love the idea of creating a legacy, a portfolio of work which I feel really proud of, and which other people can discover in the future. Part of this is born out of my love of social history and just wishing that my parents' generation had had these amazing digital tools that we now have in order to document their own lives. I love looking at footage and photos of my parents when they were younger and I just wish that there was more of it. So my YouTube channel is a way for me to talk about things I'm interested in at age 45 in the year 2024. Presuming that YouTube still exists in the future, this video, along with all the other videos that I make on my channel, will serve as a legacy of sorts. A legacy which might only appeal to a handful of people, namely my two children, but a legacy nonetheless. Therapy. I am an overthinker and this hasn't always made things easy. Life as an overthinker means that you are constantly dwelling on things and I often find myself ruminating on the past and feeling nostalgic. And whilst nostalgia can evoke very happy memories, too much of it can leave you feeling miserable. Making YouTube videos allows me to talk about the things I'm constantly thinking about. When I make a video, I'll often find myself writing down a loose structure before vocalizing these thoughts aloud. In a way, it's like therapy, and it's a lot cheaper too. So thank you for listening to me, and thank you for being my therapist. Making money. I think anyone that makes videos seriously on YouTube wants to make money from the platform, and I'm no different. And whilst I haven't made any money directly from YouTube in terms of advert revenue, merchandise, Patreon, sponsored videos, I have had inquiries off the back of videos I made about licensing footage, particularly aerial footage. And I also had an inquiry from a company who wanted to use some footage of me collapsing and then subsequently crying at the end of the Edinburgh Marathon. So I find this very bizarre, but it was uh, potentially gonna be used in an advert for a major American sports drink. Ultimately, it didn't happen, but it would have been very lucrative. Two videos that I have made in the past, one about me taking part in the National Three Peaks Challenge and a video where I didn't use my mobile phone for a week, were licensed and used by the National Education Board in Belgium, where these two videos are being used in the curriculum for people's exams. And again, I just find that very bizarre. But the point is that you never know who's watching on YouTube and the potential for making money is huge. Realistically, the only way in which I'm gonna make money from YouTube is if I grow my channel. So if you are new here, please do hit the subscribe button and also leave a comment down below and hit the like button. 
as this helps massively with YouTube's notoriously complex algorithm. The future of this channel. This video has come about because I had a question on my latest video about what my intentions were with my channel. So I hope that I've outlined exactly why I'm gonna keep persevering with YouTube and how it's changed my life. And I hope that this video might also serve as inspiration to anyone who's brave enough to think about putting themselves out there on YouTube. It's a lot of hard work, but if you focus beyond monetary motivation, it's really rewarding. And whether or not you're interested in setting up your own YouTube channel or not, the process of documenting your own life can also be incredibly rewarding. And if you'd like to know more about how to do this and why you should, then watch this video right here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.